Castle Acre is the remains of a Motton Bailey castle with extensive earthworks in the English county of Norfolk. It is a scheduled ancient monument and a Grade 1 listed building. The castle was founded soon after the Norman conquest of 1066 by the first Earl of Surrey. This was his most important estate in Norfolk. The settlement is strategically placed where the ancient trackway known as Peddler's Way crossed the River Nile. To the west of the castle was a planned town and priory, and the whole settlement was fortified. The riverside location was important both for the defence and for riverborne supplies in an age when road transport was extremely difficult. The castle was of Motton Bailey construction. On the summit of the mott was the residence of the owner and the last refuge in the event of an attack. Bailey below contained living quarters, stores and workshops. A strong curtain wall with wall walks surrounds the Mott summit and a lesser wall tops the Bailey banks. Archaeological excavations on the Mott in 1970s revealed a building sequence unique in England. The first stone building was a great two-storey block standing in a courtyard surrounded by a bank and ditch. The principal rooms at first floor level were heated by an early example of a fireplace with a flue. Later generations would define such a building as a country house. Political uncertainty in the 1100s led to some strengthening of the defences. The wooden gateway was replaced by a stone gatehouse and alterations made to the interior. With the Civil War lasting from 1139 to 1153, the house was gutted and its shell adapted. Main walls were doubled in thickness from the inside. The moat deepened and bank walls raised, providing a great defensive keep. When the Civil War ended in 1153 and more peaceful times returned, a strongly defended keep was no longer necessary. The owners would require more sumptuous accommodation for their comfort and also for entertaining important guests including royalty who were known to have visited Castle Acre. The grass covered humps and bumps which can be seen in the bailey are the foundations of these later buildings. The large rectangular outline 
is probably that of the Great Hall, the high table to the east, and the screen's passage, buttery and pantry to the west, with the kitchen kept separate to reduce risk of fire.